Yes guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be on alcohol and fitness and my main kind of tips on building a rounder chest. I've just got my my standard staple right now of my ghost pump. Um, so I tend to, I've got the lemon lime. I tend to go for these kind of more bitter flavours just because I feel like you get the, the, like the urge to go. Um, but yeah, let's get into the workout. So, alcohol and fitness. What's my main tips? I'll do it. No, get on. Um, see, for me, like, I like going out too much. I mean, I don't always drink. Um, that's that's just my personal preference. Like, we were out last night, and he did he did it too far, too far. Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, like, <laughs> something you've got to take into account is like if you're actually wanting to see the like, differences and you're always out drinking, you're not gonna, because say you're eating your calories for the day, you've then got like, all your calories in your booze, like for example, I think it's vodka that's the lowest in calorie and it's 100 calories per shot. So per 25 ml of um, vodka, you are 100 calories. So you take it into account, you do, 20 shots, it's 2,000 calories alone, it's what I deal with, um, it's like you just want to like go for a weekly calorie count, so say for example you're doing 2,000 calories a day, 7 days a week that's 14,000 calories, so you go right okay I'm going to Saturday night, we have a wild night, dial back your calories throughout each day to basically tailor the needs of that night out so you're still not you're still hitting your goals of the week you're still not going over the calorie deficit you're not going too much over your maintenance all comes back to calories I, and for me like personally i would say just do it like screw not having a good time go out and drink go out and have a good time because at the end of the day that's that's like the main thing um but yeah like i don't actually know like what else to say i think for me it's like should just be done you should be able to have a social life. Like, well, I'm 20, nearly 21. I'm always going to want to go out. It's at that point where parties are happening again. Like, so don't ruin a, a social life and don't ruin friendships just because you think you can't do it when in fact you can. It's always like, there's always ways around it. It's like, you, you eat a packet of crisps, you are, oh damn it, that's, that's 100 calories more than I should have for the day. Like, back to normal, you're, you're fine, you're still on track for the week. Look at weekly calorie counts. And your sound and just go out and have a good time and get drunk and yeah let's get into this workout let's get into my top tips for chest so first tip when training chest is your form so when you sit on the bench see if you pretend on each side just does a warm-up kind of way what you want to look at is having the scapulas pull back so you get that natural arch if you're staying tight so the whole movement is all focused on your chest so what it does is stretches the chest out. So that's when you get this chest striations and you get the chest rounded. Your chest muscles go across the way. So having them stretched out, pull down, push out, use no anterior delt. There's something I did wrong constantly when it started, like mentioned when I started even coming to the gym. Everything was always like shoulders like fly, which I'll get onto in a minute. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna show you what I mean. How I could typically set up on a bench. I used to I used to take five, ten minutes out of my whole workout just to make sure I was getting it right. Let me just show you. shoulder movement it's all in the chest and say get that right watch your bench weight just fly up
good. It felt like a crappy three reps. Um, but going on to like backing up my point of elongating the, the chest muscles, like I say, they go across the way. So no matter what, whether you're half a rep, you're a full rep, you're still extending them and making them better. Like I'd probably say that was two reps, but again, I think I was still far enough down that I can count them as three reps. But I don't know. Comment down below. Give me shit. Tell me I'm my bench is shit. Give me motivation. Tip number two. Use all the angles you've got. Round here. Call different balls. Look at every setting you can use and why why people only use that one. Like, no. You want to get a well rounded chest, you've got to hit each and every possible angle. It doesn't matter whether it's like 15 degrees, whether it's 30 degrees, whether it's 45 degrees. Choose your angle, do a set on that, go up an angle, do a set on that, go up an angle, do a set on that. Now, the only thing I would say is not to do a certain angle is it's a little bit too high, um, that's more your shoulders. You will get some chest activation that would just build your shoulders. Um, so, first of all, we're going to start on 15, do two or three sets on that, and then show you the next one. Cheered up, right? Okay, so just going back to like hitting all the different angles, so don't just hit like flat and incline, which everyone seems to do, everyone seems to neglect just using a decline. Just grab one of these, like what we do setups and stuff for. You want to just set it on probably say the lowest setting because anymore you're gonna get a lot of like anterior doubt, and um, that's gonna hurt. You're gonna feel a lot of pressing from there, you're not gonna gain from using the chest again. So, another angle to hit that chest any other way, right? We want to tip three. First, let's do this set. high reps on this, you don't want to go, you've done your low rep stuff, you've done heavy, heavy compounds. Now it's about going light, so you're getting that high so you're getting that burn. After every set as well, you kind of want to tense the test, you want to keep it activated for as long as possible.
Zombie. Yes guys, there you have it. Here's my top tips on alcohol and fitness and getting a well-rounded tiddy. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you want to see next. I'm thinking about a food challenge, but I don't know what food challenge to do, so hit me with, with them ideas. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.